are around. So, uh, but yeah, as far as the Sonics go, you know, you see a lot of Sonics, see a lot of Ken, some Kells. I'm sure this has been a matchup you'll see quite a bit. So we'll have to see how uh, these two play it. Is Sonny more on the like defensive side, or is he going to go a little offensive and try to like really bring that speed straight over to, uh, to Diddy Kong? Yeah, I think so. Zenodo being a vet of the game, playing for damn near over a decade, definitely seen every variation of Diddy Kong possible. But on Sonido's side, it's already been two game fives in this phase two pools for Sonido too. So definitely up for the task to play this one out. However, Zenodo wants to put it to him. That's the Sonido show right here on the stream. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> right. Okay. Taking up all the screen time. All right. Yeah, let's see how this one uh, this one goes, man. As, as of right now, you know, not a crazy amount going for Zenodo. He has obviously, you know, got to try to keep the banana pressure up, but it's been see, uh, seemingly rough trying to catch Sonido right now, who is definitely playing that Sonic that you all love, came to, <laughs> uh, you know, hate and loathe. But it gives the Ws, and I ain't mad at him. Uh, definitely working out, but Zenodo just can't really find a way in here, too. Sonido not staying in one point for too long enough, able to catch that drift in after the jump from ledge. Banana in hand here, too. This is scary. Trying to catch the neutral get up from off stage here, too. Sonido is grooving. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, right off the ledge. He's like, are oh, you trying to get, uh, do something aggressive? Nope. Hold this active hitbox of my F tilt. Gets him out of there. 38% so far. Zenodo has really not been able to touch this man at all. Yeah, the F tilt's crazy, too. The turnaround you can get on that, too, with Sonic covers so much distance and will kill, as you saw. Even percents, though, to those stocks out of order, though. Zenodo down one, trying to get something started with a nair in the corner. Can find some good stuff there, especially reading off DI, but really just kind of chasing ghosts out here. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, nice. A little two-piece right there. Hold up. Coming through, nice. Still, though, Zenodo already lapped in percentage, and he's continuously... Now, no banana in hand, too, so this is a game that, like, Zenodo's uh, allowed to play. You know, I got, I got the banana, now I can just run away. You're not fast enough to catch me. And, yeah, my uh, side B spin dash is annoying. So, <laughs> what's up? Caught the overextension, though, too. Up toss on Banana gives Sonido ledge for free. Zenodo not able to hold that real estate. Caught with a four tilt on platform here, too. Banana back in hand. Regularly scheduled programming. Uh-oh. Oh. Forward air back, though. Caught the spin dash early. Trying to catch the low recoveries. Zenodo staying on top of it, though, on that left side. We do find a back air for the stock. Yeah, we got to see if he can actually put a little damage on here. All right, hold up. Should be a good start. Doesn't have banana mm -hmm. in hand, though, so it gets only the, the, the simple combo of the 31%, but that's still better than nothing. Uh-oh. Yeah, air dodge was forced out there by the banana at ledge, too. So Nido ready for the situation, though. Still in hand, one toss left on it. Staying oh. in the sky. Got caught the shield drop there, too. Mm -hmm. Thought he was safe after just the banana hitting shield. Yeah. Okay. Pulls banana, gets a little extra damage before he goes back and gets it. Pretty smart right here, Zenodo. No. Oh, okay, just yeah, yeah. a raw toss. I got timing on that. Up to the platform. That's covered there, too. Dash Tech doing two jobs at once there. Catching Banana, able to get a hit off as well, too. Returning to neutral here, but Sonido closes space very quickly. Oh, yeah. Not going to be able to punish the Dash Tech on shield. That yeah. was rogue. A little surprise. Oh, okay. He's going to make it back, though, right? Yeah, yeah we're good. It's, we got Sonic. The dodge. it's Sonic. Man, that was, a, that was a very bold option to go for, though. But at the same time, you know, Diddy Kong is charging. Kind of held pretty, pretty like, in place when he's trying to charge. So I yeah. like the idea of Sonido going out there. Yeah, de definitely like he was about to jettison straight to that blast zone, though. <laughs> a little scary. But, wow, Zenodo able to bring himself back into this game by, like, a large margin. I mean, he Ooh. legitimately now with the lead. Okay. Yeah, Rage helping out a lot on that up smash there, too. I feel like Zenodo kind of got into the groove of the game. Sonido came out, immediately punched him in the mouth, able to get a big percent lead. But here we go. Back hit up air. Not going to find much on Sonido's side. Dash tag, a little over committal. Great roll choice from Sonido coming in. Okay. Sonido now got to be the one to find himself. This stock does get the hit. Goes for the the, rant of the raw F smash right there. But, yeah, and I, I'm pretty sure if, if he got that trip, it would have been all that she wrote on this second stock. But still got to find it. I mean, Sonic does have some pretty good uh, kill power. But I think when you're behind like this, that he's just one of those characters that, like, you know, if you start throwing out things, it's not going to go well for you. Right. Overextensions can be real easy to run into, especially with that speed. You can go just flying over your opponent. Diddy Kong can punish that, as we've seen already. Banana in hand here, though, too. Just down air canceling out of it, too. Don't want Zenodo to realize when we're coming in. Oh, Ooh. my gosh, the weight was there. You saw Oh, it. yeah. Okay. Zenodo has turned this one all the way around, ends up misspacing that up air, and ends up eating the back air for his troubles. But still, solidly, 91% here already on Sino uh, uh, Sonny, though. Which is crazy, because, yeah, now, if you look at the beginning of this game, if you're just walking in, I mean, it was a, a, a fat lead Sonido had over Zenodo, but not this time. Great spot dodge for the dash grab from Sonido. Not going to find the up smash. The air dodge was there for it, but it's not timed properly by Zenodo. Double jump used. Got to get off this plat. Getting chased down here, too, though. Both players are running at each other at this point. Sonido is not playing that keep away game we saw in the first two. Yeah. Oh. 
Okay, my man's Ooh. just moving. Try to get that, yeah, try to get a little shimmy grab going on. That'll be oh, it that on the fourth smash, middle of the stage. The Noto clawing that one back from the depths to go up 1 0. Yeah, I don't really, I can't even really tell you what happened, too, because it, it feels like uh, Sonny Noto like, had the lead and was playing that very annoying, you know, up a stock, you know, the vibes type gameplay, but. He decided like to let go of that like halfway through the match, and then that just cost him. Yeah, it really felt like as soon as that like you know spin dash missed, and the home the homing shot missed going off on that right side. Yeah, there was kind of like a switch that flipped in. Not only the Noto said, but I think Sonito kind of got into the idea of I can kind of run him over now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So all right, well we got to see uh, if he can get back into uh, you know the vibes, because yeah, I mean like again, very very hot start. Not to say that like. Should have won that game immediately, but Zeno obviously had to fight, you know, tooth and nail to get that W, and then it actually got a very solid W by the end of it. So, good stuff. Nice adjustments here from Zenodo, uh, Zenodo. But now Sonny, though, on the receiving end of, uh, you know, an early stock or early percent uh, lead here from Zenodo. Yeah, completely opposite to what happened in that first game, too. Zenodo came out with a hot like, 80 or 90 out of the gate. Zenodo kind of putting it back on him here, too. Banana in hand, just holding that shield. Forces double jump out and returning to the platform. That is great coverage, putting that forward air up. Oh, okay, wanted to catch DI in there too. Yeah. But smart to hold out. All right. Still can't, can't even get the hit right there. Just uh, a raw air dodge into the up tilt. Just taking that man off the top. Oh, big punish. Yep. You cannot whiff the uh, spin homing attack. If it hits the ground, you are super vulnerable. Oh, the down toss on it there too. And just running back to stage did not want to go for a further punish. No, like down air shenanigans like that coming out. But still building this percent lead too. Not even 50% on the side of Zenodo either. Sonido. In that depth that we were talking about, going to force out a lot more overextensions. I think this comes to one of those things. Like this kind of just shows like the player difference of like when someone is like they're really good with their player, but they may not be so great at like uh, swapping up the style. So it feels like that's kind of what's happening in Zenodo, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Sonny Do right now, where you know Zenodo figured out all right, this is what you're doing uh, in the first game, and now it seems like he's kind of struggling a little bit. So he's got to be the one now to adjust to uh, Zenodo, and we, we got to see if that actually happens. Oh, oh. <laughs> Barrels trying to oh. come back. We make it under the spring as well too. But Barrel's I, I, I feel back. what you're saying, though, yeah. too. I feel like Sonido is not as comfortable in the play style that Zenodo is being forcing him to play, as you see right here, up two stocks in this game, too. But, yeah, it's the onus is on Sonido to make this change here, too. We running off with it? No. This is just – I feel like – I feel like – well, he's also ran into way more bananas. Yeah. <laughs> like I, yeah, yeah, he yeah. was doing a really good job of playing – like, banana play earlier. Uh, of also, yeah, keeping, keeping the banana away from Zenodo, not allowing him to get banana confirms. And then on top of that, just avoiding getting hit. But, like, now – okay, hold up now. He's turning this thing around. He's starting to get a little more uh, of the item play himself in there. Uh oh. Yeah, so he's trying to drift back with a forward air there, too, to catch out the spin dash forward. But Sonido able to find the conversion off of it. But then in hand here, this is a fresh stock. Okay, we got these platforms going off stage once again. Monkey flipping over, got caught for it. Oh, get tripped. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Stuffed out on the approaches there, too. Zeno Zenoto holding really well on stage. Okay. This this homing attack is doing him like no favors right now. Like there's been a lot of Sunita homing attacks that have uh, either got him like hard punished or it hasn't really got an advantage of getting the hit at the very least. And so, and I, I mean like I get it. It's a, it's a good move. It can be good, especially if you're trying to snipe out a recovery. But Ooh. as of right now, it just has not been doing anything for his gameplay. So, Zenodo with a big weight, but doesn't get the uh, the punish off of that. Unfortunately, good di also away from uh, from Sunita. Every single banana just seems to be hitting at this point too. Sunito just falling into them. The up tosses, the down tosses, forward any direction. Zenodo throws it. Feels like the Sonic's getting hit. Playing distant on the stage though too, giving Zenodo a lot of space to come back from. Four throw again off. Uh, oh, interesting trade come back there. Zenodo still has a jump oh, super okay. low though too. Yeah. I appreciate Sunito going deep as well too, trying to just cover everything. Still alive, and we are even stock, but nevertheless. Down smash off the banana toss. I like that. It's got to be. I don't know. It must be the timing that it, like Zenodo really just kind of tripping Sunito up in his timing because he's got the banana in hand. Obviously, you're like, all right, I don't want to get hit by that. And then, you know, it's almost like a, a crate, like a weird timed burst option that uh, <laughs> Zenodo using. Where like you should be expecting it, but you're just like, but when? And he just hasn't been guessing correctly on when the banana is going to be thrown. So good stuff to Zen uh, Zenodo here against Sunito. These I don't know. Like these twister, names yeah. <laughs> Do not like these names together, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. Maybe a little analysis paralysis from Sonito here, worrying a little too much about the banana. But, like, if we get the same start that we had in that game one for Sonito, get a 90, 80 percent, uh, percent lead, and then we're able to just spin dash with that banana in hand and force Sonito to play catch up, force the overextensions, it'll be a lot easier. It feels like he can't really, like, like, he can't play either versions right now because, you know, the, the slower version seemed to got figured out earlier by yeah. us, uh, Zenodo. So now he has to play. He can't really do that because, like, that's just, you know, you can't go down the same path that already path. didn't work, right? Yeah. So now you got to, like, pick 
Different options, you got to play uh, at a different speed. And maybe he's just not that comfortable playing the not, like, slower, uh, you know, methodical approach of Sonic that you may see from other Sonics right here. You know, it's, he's been making quite a bit of mistakes here as far as, like, you know, the homing attack usage, not really uh, popping off with the banana as much as he was doing in the first game, and it's really starting to come back and, uh, you know, bite him. Yeah, Zanotto catching off on, like, the, the spin charge canceling and stuff like that, too, down airing out of, like, a short hop to get out of that. That's really good times to find banana. And as you sell, homing attack not hitting is just open season for whatever you want to do if you're Zanotto. Yeah. All right, he is. Had to look at some notes here, I think, taking the, the buds out. He wants to hear the game. This maybe it's not hidden. Yeah. Maybe something different. So I, I need to make another playlist. This ain't the one. So, all right, here we are in to game three. Surprisingly, no, not a one-one situation. It is a two-zero in Zenoda's favor. Not so surprising on that last game as he kind of like ran through him. But yeah, at the beginning of that first game, uh, Sunnydo really had a good game plan, and Zenoda figured it out, and he has not been able to uh, adjust yet. Ooh. Okay, big bets. Monkey flip caught those two. That's where he found a lot of money previously. Running off that platform, though, two really well-spaced dash back by Sonido. Opener is looking good. Not going to get the dash forward necessary to punish that monkey flip. But an in hand here, too, though. This is a really good position. Wanted to get the read out there, too. But Zenodo not going to roll in because the banana was there. Uh-oh. Okay. Ooh, wow, that trip. I did not. I can't believe that reach. Yeah, he was like, he, he thought. He, he, I, I'm for sure that Sunito thought I, I could just walk away from this. Caught him by the caught him by the Achilles heel on that one. And so this one looks better for him though. He does have a slight uh, percent lead, but can he turn this to a sock? Yeah, he's gonna start throwing out these F smashes. It is a very strong move here for Sonic, but Ooh, again, yeah. it, the, the homing attacks are just not doing him any favors. Mm -hmm. Coming off that platform as well too. Sunito playing very much in the air as well. Got to get away from this Diddy Kong with Banana, I understand, too. But Zenodo's just sharking from below so well. Rising high, though. I love coming up with your back facing. That back air was so nice. Ooh, nice. Wow, the hesitation. You saw it. Okay, so he finally got one to hit. I'm still, like, you know, still very hesitant on seeing him use that uh, as much, at least not in an offstage situation where you're trying to snipe a recovery. But, oh, okay, yeah, don't pick that up. I'm right there. Sonic loves littering. He's like, put that back. <laughs> put that back on the ground. <laughs> I'm over with it. Done with the environment. Double forward air off. No banana in hand either. That forward air made it drop. And we're chilling. Yeah, this is interesting. TK, as you said, pressuring the time Zanotto goes to pick up the banana from the ground, too. I think Sonito might have found a new timing that's worked. And that's what we like to see, you know? And maybe it, it might have taken a little bit, or whatever he read when he looked at his phone. Might have been some good news in the Sonic Diddy matchup or a text or something. I don't know. But regardless. Whatever he's doing in this game is looking a lot better than the first two. Does get picked up by that monkey flip command grab. Man's very, very hurting, but he did get some good damage here onto uh, Zenodo, too. And Zenodo hasn't been... Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, Rare now it's paralysis. <laughs> right in front of it here, too. Not going to have time dashing too far away to punish Zenodo, getting that banana on platform. The dash that gets something started here, too. Damn near even percents here. Yeah, retreat to the platform after spin dash. You get banana tossed every time if you don't. Sonido definitely picking and choosing his timing better than... Oh, wow. th that second spring was going to be everything, but unfortunately uh, was not directly above uh, Zenodo. Now, if Zenodo tried to pop off early, though, he might have ran straight into it, which would have been sick as well. But yeah, I mean, I definitely, definitely love the idea that Sonido tried to get there. Mm -hmm. Zenodo holding away on a lot of these like spin dashes that seem to connect and then just trying to find back air after it as well. But back air from Sonido, able to find it on that platform. Nope. Oh, okay. Spinning through that, there we go. Picking better timing, as, as, as we say, you know, that was one of the things he definitely had to do is get around this banana better now. Back into his hand, you know, taking a very crucial part of Diddy's, uh, you know, Diddy's gameplay away from him, not allowing him to get any type of banana confirms. That monkey flip, though, still a good burst option. Yeah, good to catch on the corner as well, too. Setting up this ledge trap. Not going to force the banana out of his hand yet. Definite game plan. Well, roll on. Zenoda seemed to have had the dash forward to catch it. Not going to happen, though. Yeah, we're playing keep away here, too. Banana in hand, you know the vibes. Uh oh We got we got three minutes left on the clock, too. So nothing like, I wouldn't see it, expect to see a timeout nah. like that. But it is still possible if uh, Sonny Doe decides, you know what? The vibes are immaculate on the other side <laughs> of the stage for the rest of this game. Grass is always greener. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, just staying stone cold with it. Not a single tilt or attack has came out yet. We are just waiting for Zenodo to approach. Not much chip damage to speak of either. Again, Zenodo seems to be swinging at Ghost here. Oh. Yeah, we forward air too. Held out on the charge a little bit. Forces Zenodo to miss and land. Zenodo's got oh. to find a way. Okay. <laughs> got got a pop gun. Oh, wait a minute. 
All right, put himself kind of in a bad position. I like that idea that, oh, is that going to be enough? Very close. Okay, wait, that should be enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there we go. The four there, the kiss of death. Good stuff uh, to Sunito. You know, as I said, the slowdown didn't work earlier, but the slowdown definitely works when you got the banana in hand. Yeah. It was interesting, too, because, like, I had a moment during that game, like, he missed the homing attack after camping with a banana for a while. I'm like, I've seen this uh -oh. before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait a second. <laughs> it's about to be an issue here. Yeah. But, no. yeah, okay, so he's on the board. Was able to deal with, you know, slow, slowly but surely. Uh, I do like, he was able to go back to the first version that we saw in his first game of, let me get that banana, let me take away your, the option. It's really kind of been blowing him up, really. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's the banana, and it's the fact that he's been missing a lot of homing attacks and then getting blown up for that as well. But seeing that uh, the banana was in hand, he didn't have to go for homing attacks as much. And even on some of the homing attacks that he did miss, I mean, Sonoto still, like, just didn't get the, the straight punish like he was uh, doing earlier. Mm -hmm. You know, this is quite familiar territory. For Sonito, if it does go the distance in his way, I mean, game fives have been the entire way for phase two pools, and you know, the way it's already shaping up, it would have to go that way. We will have to see and go the distance for the Sonics to take it home. Sonoto opting to just go straight back to PS2 as well, finally has counter pick advantage in this set too, but does not want to change stage. Yeah. All right. Got to see what uh, we can get. Okay, this is a hot start right mm -hmm. here from us. Uh, Sunny though, getting uh, two little confirms off that and banana already in hand. <laughs> and we're chilling. We we have we have every intention to stay away from you with this banana. Oh, the toss forward here too. Try to get pop gun out too, but Zenodo cannot hold the real estate. We get pressed forward. Great dash tech again, catching and hitting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he's able to find a uh, spring together a couple of things. I think these these timings of these places now that uh, Sinero is, is putting these homing attacks, making it a little hard for uh, Zanotto to actually juke him because, yeah, he was doing a pretty high up, so Zanotto could just Ooh. run away. That one, again. <laughs> he's still looking for it, but the recoveries just have not been sniped out yet by uh, uh, Sonido. Homing attack once again, too. Just charging at that mid-distance. Zenodo opting to play a lot more passively here as well, too. You saw in the previous games getting chased after. We do find another monkey flip in the corner, which has been a response. Just kind of hard to find the time for it. Great in air conversion. Uh oh. All right, man. Somehow we are even. Drops that in the middle. Okay. Ends up scooping that. And Sonic immediately. I'm gone. Ends up getting hit by the dash attack, though. But we do have to find a way to get the stock off. See how he decides to drop it. Nice. Hit into the forward air. And, oh, ooh, okay, yeah. back air for back air, but he misspaced it. Just barely, too, trying to get the roll behind into the grab. Reaching with Sonito with that fair on platform. Zenodo barely missed time to the up smash. Back, though, no air dodge nice. needed. Yeah, caught it. There you go. Monkey flip command grab once again, working in the corner like a charm. A little bit of bait right there, too. Looked like he was going to try to go back and grab that banana, but then he, he's like, all right, I can get up for free. No, you can't. I'm actually right back with the uh, with the monkey flip. So now a little bit of a lead for Zenodo, but can he keep that up? 152 is a lot of damage. Again, uh -oh. great grab here, too. Back throw for some stage. Definitely not going to kill this percent. Not dropping a spring there, either. Maybe a little bit of a fake trying to get Zenodo to move around, but all seems all right. We are back on the stage. Okay, yeah. A lot of options there. Up air will be good. Uh oh. I think I saw somebody in the chat say the, the banana toss does like two per no. That joint does like <laughs> six or seven, like when it's not uh when it's not staled. And uh, man, that that adds up. That's I, I was watching the tweet combo where he hit like the uh, the banana uh, pull into the Z drop throw down and that, and he added up like another that 20 terror? damage like that. Yeah, yeah and yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, bro, yeah, what's yeah. the like <laughs> where did this damage come from? Ooh, whiffing on these grabs here too and I feel like just a moment ago, we were even Steven on percentages here, but Zanotto seems to be locking up very, very well. I mean, still high percents here, too. And Ooh. Sonic can rip stocks off. You saw it charge. All right. Okay, finally gets the stock. But, I mean, 200-plus on Diddy Kong is, is insane. Mm -hmm. Ass nine. You know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. Criminal to get away with on the Diddy Kong side. We roll up here, too. Not going to get the second hit of up here. That's going to give Zenodo enough time to land, get something going. <laughs> Thought Banana was on platform. Air dodge is down. Got nothing. Uh-oh. Oh, I love that Nair there, too. Baited out that get-up attack. You're moving. All right, man. Uh, we're actually kind of drilling back into the stock, so good stuff. Enzo getting pushed off on the stage, though. Unfortunately, the Banana, yeah, on screen. Nice awareness. Should not be enough from across the screen, but still, that's a lot of damage to be able to add up with that bit of charge. He's got one more. Let me one more trip. Oh, okay. Near the edge. It's like one more trip and it's probably over for him. Yeah. The down tilt into the back air and he's out of there.